Hello everyone, Brother Killers here, and today guys I'm going to review three Plasma Dragons sets released between 2007 and 2009 if I'm correct. Um, and well, if you remember, the Plasma Dragons were a, a sub-sim from the Plasmaverse sim, and the Plasmaverse sim was all about a new type of action figures which featured soft plastics for the uh, soft plastic for the parts, also ball joints for the articulations, also a smaller scale than the uh, previously released mid-sized dragons from the Mega Bloks Dragons sim, because of course it is not a Lego sim but a Mega Bloks sim. And a uh, final point, I'm going to review three dragons in this uh, this review, but uh, throughout the Plasmaverse uh, sim and uh, throughout its year of production, uh, the Mega Bloks released different types of creatures, so there were obviously dragons, but also dinosaurs, robots, or even uh, strange creatures called uh, plasma creeps, like for example zombies or, or ghouls and stuff like that. So not only dragons, but in this review I'm going to review three uh, plasma dragons from different series or waves, if you want to call them like that. And so the first one, uh, first was just released, in fact, in an exclusive set released only at, at Toys R Us. And it was released with two other Plasma Dragons. Uh, and I do not have the box because, in fact, I do not have the set. It's a friend of mine who bought, uh, who bought this set for like uh, one or two dragons. And he gave me one of those three dragons. And so this is this one. So I also do not have his name or, of course, the instruction booklet. But as you can see, for those who uh, have not seen my previous uh, Plasma Dragons reviews, we're going to begin with this type of body frame, which featured four ball joints for uh, legs and, well, front legs and rear legs, one ball joint for the tail, there's two points of connection for the wings, and finally this connector right there, which will be useful to link the head. And I think that's quite all. And the last point is that most of the molds you're going to uh, see in this uh, video review were already released before in uh, the first or the second series of the Plasma Dragons sets. So in fact, no new molds, but of course, new recolors. So, for example, this body was first released in the first series or web. And as you can see, the color scheme of this dragon is going to be silver, black, light gray, or well, it's kind of like a light gray, and also yellow. And well, let's begin. So, you have seen the body frame. Now we're going to link the arms or front legs, as you can see, which are big bulky ones, which are first released in the second series of Plasma Dragons set. For example, you can see them on Tempest, which uh, I, ha I have already reviewed in my second Plasma Dragon series. The same can be said for the legs, which, which first appeared in the first series. The same can be said for the tail. And like I said, it's made as, as, it's made, as you can see, of, out of soft plastic. And the wings, which were also already released before. And finally, you got the head, uh, and I think this is the first time we see this uh, this head in my reviews, but it uh, it might have as well been released in the second series, by the way. So quite cool, and the mouth can be opened. So like I said, uh, the dragon is finished. I'm going to do a quick turnaround of this little guy, and then we'll talk quickly about the articulations. Guy, which are quite simple because uh, they are mounted on just one ball joint, and because they are mounted on mounted, excuse me, on one ball joint, this means you can of course move the arms or the legs, excuse me, up and down like any rotation point. But because this is a ball joint, you can also move them on the sides a little, as you can see, which can be helpful for some pose, even if you can't make that tons of poses with this model. One rotation point for this little tail, and the head is also mounted on a ball joint. Plus, it can open, it can open, but as you can see, it can be opened. Excuse me, but as you can see, the tongue is not painted. But apart from that, the paint job is great, as usual, with all its type of a paint effect and really a nice paint job, which is quite cool. And in fact, the uh, kind of the complex paint job will not be uh, will not be done on the on the next dragon. I'm going to show you. So this dragon, this dragon, excuse me, was released uh, in the in the last waves of the Plasma Dragons uh, set. 
But as you can see, the body is not new because once again, we already uh, know this body mold from uh, Talon Lock from the second wave, if I'm correct. Also, you can notice that, like I said, the color shade is really uh, simpler because, uh, or more simple, yes, simpler because, uh, as you can see, it's just a, a normal shade between black, kind of black, and uh, some kind of light blue. Light blue, light gray, so yeah. But the, the color shape works quite great, even if, it's, even if it is not as complex as the previous ones. So the front uh, leg, so the, uh, this little part, this little clothes looks quite uh, strange because they were bended when I bought this set, so I tried to uh, put them straight, but it kind of fell, so that's why they kind of look uh, ugly. Notice that the second leg is asymmetrical, in fact, it's not the same. Then we're going to have the. Uh, excuse me, guys. In fact, also these parts are asymmetrical, by the way. But you already saw them in the previous uh, dragon. The tail, as you can see. But once again, nothing really new. Same can be said for the wings. And the head, uh, which I think is not new, but I may be wrong. I think it was released in the second series, and all oh, this time the tongue is painted, which is really a, ni a nice detail. Of course, the eyes, the eyes are also painted, which is uh, quite cool. And here we go, I'm going to pose this uh, big guy. And well, this will be all. In fact, it will be quite quick. I'm not going to uh, to make a 20 minute long review video. Video review, excuse me. I think it's not really that worse. And of course, <laughs> your your ears, I think, will uh, will thank me for will thank me for that. And that's all. And once again, uh, yeah, this one is called uh, Trilo Bike, by the way. And I think it's from the sixth or seventh uh, series. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to, to check that. Oh, no, in fact, excuse me, guys, it was released as part of the fifth series. So maybe not the. Okay, so I can just uh, fall out and look at me. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Everything seems to fall out in my room, so yeah, I'm just going to keep on uh, reviewing this set. So yes, Trailer Bat, Trailer, yes, Trailer Beat, released in the fifth series. Uh, series. And uh, now it's time to review the last dragon, and this time it will be a little more interesting because we're going to see some new molds, in fact. And first is this body mold, which I think was first released as part of the Plasma Dinosaurs sub -sing. And as you can see, the color shape is once again uh, pretty well done. They decided to uh, go back to their uh, paint effects and not just a simple uh, fade between two colors, which is quite cool. But once again, as you can see, we have the different ball drums. So I'm going to make the front legs, which are not new this time because we already saw them in the first series. Then the rear legs, those once again are not really new if I'm correct. And as you can see, they are asymmetrical. The tail, which once again I think was first released uh, in the Plasma Dragons, in the Plasma Dinosaurs uh, sub -scene. The wings, which once again are new. And uh, a thing that I didn't mention, in fact, I, I forget to show, you, to show you, to talk about two things, so I'm going to do that just after I finish uh, build this guy. And so this one, I do not have the name of this dragon because I just, uh, I think I, uh, I don't really know where the packaging is, but I think it was released as part of the uh, very last wave of Plasma, uh, of the Plasmaverse sub theme, excuse me. And then you got the head, which is a new one, as you can see, a new mod that we, have, we haven't seen before. We haven't seen before, excuse me, guys. And 
And I think that's quite all for this one. So as you can see, it's a four-legged dragon, which is uh, quite different from the two previous ones, which were two-legged dragons, as you can see. And it's quite original because he's got his, uh, he got, yes, he got his own style. And yeah, two things I forgot to mention about this dragon is that this dragon was released in a wave uh, called Color Shifters because, in fact, some of these dragons could uh, be put under cold water and then the, the color would have changed. But it was uh, packed at random, so for example, you were not sure to have a color shifter dragon. And for example, that's the case with this one because it can't uh, change color. But but it was a good idea for Mega Bloks to put this type of thing. So uh, if you bought the, one of the good dragon, which was color shifter, you could just put it on, uh, put him under the cold water, and then it would have changed color, which was a, a nice idea. And then the second thing I forgot to mention is the egg, because yes, I couldn't show you the packaging and the eggs for the two previous dragons, but for this one, I can at least show you the egg, which is a little is which is a different uh, than, which is a little different from the first uh, eggs released in this in the sub -seam. so you can see it's a little more um, special, so with some type of hose, as you can see. And in a black color, you can open that, and then of course you have the uh, soft plastic part, or the rubber plastic part, as you can see, which looks like that. And once again, it's a new mold, if I can put this a mold, because this was not this type of, uh, of part for the egg used before. And once again, you can, in fact, when you bought the dragon, all the parts were put in this little uh, bag, if I can call it like that, in this thing, as you can see, which can be opened. And no, this is not disgusting, it's just plastic. Uh, so yeah, it comes in a light green color, I think, in a trans light green color, which is quite cool. So that was just, that was just to show you this thing, and the fact that the egg was different uh, throughout the different waves, different series, well, not all of them, because, for example, between the first one and the second series, uh, there was no difference in terms of egg mold. And that said, I think that's all, guys, so I'm going to show you quickly uh, the, three, the three dragons I've shown you in this, I showed you in this uh, review. Here we go, I'm going to put them like that. And uh, I'm going to me, now to show you all my drag my Plasma Dragons collection, if you're interested. And well, so I'm going to put these guys on the background. So first, uh, there was, I got, remember, three dragons from the first web, which were, uh, so yes, this one is called, it was called Caesar, so as you can see, most of his parts were, were taken uh, on these dragons, were, were, were reused on these dragons. For example, the two front legs and stuff like that. Then you got tail turn. So of course, I'm going to show you uh, all the dragons together. After that, I will just change my uh, camera. Then you got Caesar, if I'm correct, which was a four-legged dragon. Then I showed you two dragons from the second series, second wave. So it was Talon Knot, really a bulky one. You don't mess with this guy, I think. Then it was Tempest, and once again a pretty bulky dragon. But once again, you can see uh, you can see those dragons in my uh, reviews. And also two plasma dragons that I get in one of my uh, dragons set was these two ones, which was which were released in the uh, Plasma Dragons Tower Bridge set in 2007 in Europe and in 2006 in, in, uh, in the US. And I think that's all for those dragons, guys. So I'm going to just to put some books here and And here we go, so... And I think this will be all guys for this uh, review on this three plasma dragons and also on this uh, three reviews about all these plasma dragons 
that I own. So hope you enjoyed, guys. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to ask them. So for example, if you have questions on this, uh, three guys, well, feel free to ask them, but you can also ask questions on all the Plasmaverse sub -theme. If you have some, I will try to answer you. Um, if I know, of course, the answer, obviously. And I think that's all, guys. So once again, hope you enjoyed, and see you later for another uh, video review. Bye-bye.